Ever run your tongue along your teeth, right where they meet the gums, and felt a little divot, a tiny notch? You might think it's just from brushing too hard, or maybe that it's always been there. But the real story is often much more serious. These notches have a specific name, abfraction, and they are a critical warning sign from your body. In this video, we're going to break down exactly what causes these notches, and more importantly, what really happens if you choose to ignore them. The answer might surprise you, and it could save you from a lot of pain and expense down the road. So, what exactly is a dental abfraction? Simply put, an abfraction is a V-shaped or wedge-shaped loss of tooth structure that occurs right at the gum line. It's not a cavity, which is caused by sugar-loving bacteria, and it's not strictly abrasion, which is caused by mechanical wear, like from a toothbrush. It's a different kind of beast entirely. The best way to understand it is with an analogy. Imagine bending a green, flexible tree branch. You don't see the damage in the middle of the branch, do you? The stress concentrates right at the bend point, and you see the bark start to flake and peel away. Your teeth experience a similar kind of force every single day. The damage doesn't happen at the tip where you're chewing, but at the neck of the tooth, where it's thinnest and most vulnerable. It's crucial to understand this distinction. While aggressive brushing can certainly make an abfraction worse, the toothbrush is not the root cause. It's merely scrubbing away at a tooth that's already been weakened by a much more powerful underlying force. So if it's not the toothbrush, what is the real culprit? The answer is excessive biomechanical force. Your teeth are designed to handle incredible pressure, but only when that pressure is distributed correctly. When the forces become too concentrated or unbalanced, the tooth itself begins to flex. It's a microscopic flex, but it happens thousands of times a day. There are two main reasons for this excessive force. The first and most common is bruxism. That's the technical term for clenching or grinding your teeth. Many people do this unconsciously, especially at night. The forces generated during sleep, grinding can be many times stronger than normal chewing forces, putting your teeth under immense strain for hours at a time. The second reason is malocclusion which is just a fancy way of saying you have a misaligned bite. If your teeth don't meet together evenly when you close your mouth, one or two teeth might be taking the full brunt of the impact every time you chew or bring your teeth together, think of it like a paperclip. If you bend a paperclip back and forth in the same spot over and over, that spot becomes weak, brittle, and eventually it breaks. The same thing happens to your tooth. When your bite forces it to flex repeatedly, the enamel rods at the neck of the tooth, the thinnest, most vulnerable part, begin to fracture away, microlayer by microlayer. This process creates that telltale notch. Now add factors like an acidic diet from sodas or citrus fruits, and you have erosion softening the tooth surface. Then add an aggressive brushing habit, and you have abrasion scrubbing away that softened, weakened tooth structure. These don't cause the abfraction, but they absolutely accelerate the damage. This brings us to the most important question. What happens if you just ignore it? If you see that notch and decide it's just a cosmetic issue, the consequences escalate over time in a predictable and damaging progression. It starts with stage one, sensitivity. The outer layer of your tooth, the enamel, has no feeling. But underneath it is a layer called dentin, which is full of microscopic tubules that lead directly to the nerve. As the abfraction wears away the enamel, this dentin becomes exposed. This is why you suddenly feel a sharp shooting pain when you drink something cold or eat something sweet. That notch is now an open window to the nerve of your tooth. Next comes stage two. It becomes a plaque trap and a site for decay. That sharp, V-shaped notch is an incredibly difficult area to keep clean with a toothbrush plaque, which is essentially a sticky film of bacteria, loves to hide in there. This dramatically increases your risk for two things, gum inflammation or gingivitis right around the tooth, and even worse, a cavity forming inside the abfraction. So now you have structural damage compounded by bacterial decay. 
Then we move to stage three. The notch deepens and the tooth becomes structurally compromised. The flexing doesn't stop. The grinding continues. The bite forces are still there. So year after year, that notch gets deeper and wider. The tooth is now significantly weaker at its very foundation. We're no longer talking about a surface level problem. The entire structural integrity of the tooth is at risk. It's like sawing partway through the trunk of a tree. It might still be standing, but it's dangerously weak. Finally, we reach stage four, catastrophic failure. This is the ultimate consequence of ignoring an abfraction. One day, you could be eating something as simple as a piece of bread or a salad, and you'll hear a loud crack. The tooth, which has been weakened at its base for years, literally snaps off at the gum line. What was once a small notch has now led to a major dental emergency. At this point, the treatment becomes complex, invasive, and expensive. You may need a root canal, a post to be placed inside the root, and a crown to rebuild the entire tooth. In the worst case scenario, the fracture is so severe that the tooth cannot be saved at all. The only option left is extraction and replacement with a dental implant or a bridge, all because that little notch was ignored. Now, hearing about catastrophic failure can be alarming. And while we are about to discuss the essential professional treatments for these issues, I know many of you are also interested in the latest at-home strategies to proactively fight the root causes of these problems, like the hidden bacterial biofilm that can accelerate this kind of damage. For those interested, I've linked to a fascinating presentation on a revolutionary red dental foam cleanse designed to help remineralize teeth. It's a very different approach that only takes about 10 seconds a day. You can watch it now by pointing your phone's camera at the QR code on your screen. I've also pinned the direct link for you in the comments section below. All right, so let's focus now on how this is managed professionally. The good news is it's completely manageable if you address it properly. The solutions are logical and twofold. You have to stop the cause and you have to repair the damage. First, and most importantly, you must address the source of the force. Simply filling the notch without figuring out why it happened is a temporary fix at best. The filling will likely just pop out as the tooth continues to flex. The primary treatment is to diagnose and manage the excessive bite forces. This can involve an occlusal adjustment where a dental professional makes very subtle changes to the shape of your teeth to balance how they meet. For more significant bite problems, orthodontics like braces or aligners might be recommended. And for those who clench or grind, a custom-made night guard is absolutely essential. It acts as a cushion, absorbing the destructive forces while you sleep. Once the cause has been addressed, you can repair the tooth itself. For most abfractions, the repair is simple. A tooth-colored filling material, a process known as dental bonding, can be used to fill in the notch. This immediately protects the exposed dentin, which eliminates sensitivity. It also restores the original shape of the tooth, making it easier to clean and preventing it from becoming a plaque trap. In very severe cases, where the notch is extremely deep and the tooth is very weak, a full coverage crown might be necessary to encase the tooth and hold it all together, preventing it from fracturing. So let's bring this all together. That little notch is a big deal. It's a physical sign of stress and imbalance in your bite. Ignoring it is a gamble that can lead from minor sensitivity all the way to a broken tooth. What should you do? Pay attention to other potential signs like frequent headaches, jaw muscle soreness when you wake up, or visible wear on the biting surfaces of your teeth. Always use a soft bristled toothbrush and a non-abrasive toothpaste. And most importantly, don't self-diagnose. If you have these notches, the single best thing you can do is have your bite evaluated by a dental professional. They can help you figure out the why behind the damage and create a plan to stop it in its tracks before it gets worse. If you found this explanation helpful, a like on the video lets me know subscribe for more straightforward videos on taking control of your dental health. And please share your own experiences with tooth sensitivity or these notches in the comments below.